Court calls the case. People versus Juan or Sorno. Marie Rosinski on behalf of the people. Good morning, Your Honor. Joy Gaines, Senior Assistant Public Defender, with and on behalf of Mr. Osorno. Mr. Osorno, would you please state your name for the record? Juan Osorno. Your Honor, with Where regard. What are we doing? Your Honor, with regard to the underlying offense, we are um, requesting a preliminary examination. Preliminary examination in this matter will be set in person August 1st, 2023, 9 a.m. before Judge Barr. Your Honor, as to the um, bond violation, we would also, at this time, Mr. Orsono is indicating he wishes to admit to the violation and to address bond. Mr. Osorno has been um, in custody since Monday. He is asking that the court consider that this is his um, first positive since when he initially started testing. At the time he um, interviewed with Community Corrections, then he did inform them that he anticipated that his first couple tests would be positive for marijuana due to due to use. But since then, there have been no more positive marijuana tests. As you can see, the alcohol test is very low. Mr. Osano had, is 34, I believe, years old, maybe 33. He has been working since he is 19 years old full time. He currently works as a manager in a bike shop. He has been there for three years. He's worked his way up. He started off as a mechanic. He um, then became a, um, a mid-level manager and is now the store manager. We are asking that he be allowed to be released. He has no objection to being, if the court were to order him to be on any type of alcohol-related tether, he's aware from our discussion of the two types and what he would be required to do. Response. Um, Your Honor, we are concerned because the, even though the ETG was low, uh, it was 0 0.03, it was at 10 a.m. Your Honor, we, Mr. Osona and I talked about the specifics of that. And um, we know that, um, my experience that I'm not sure that you would really want to hear the specifics of that, but he is acknowledging it and he indicates that will not happen anymore. He is the, at the time he was, when he, of this incident, when he, when the no contact order was entered, he was the sole breadwinner for the family. He continues to via online pay the rent and all those other things the, for the family. He um, states that the store owner is in town this week. He's been in custody since May, and he is really hoping that he can get back there to try to salvage his employment. Again, he's been there three years. He worked his way up from the bottom. Here's the problem. The problem is I've got, I've got positive tests, and I've got abnormal creatinine for four straight tests, and then I have a positive ETG. That abnormal creatinine, quite frankly, it's not, you're saying that it's one positive, but that's not, uh, that's not accurately describing the test itself or the testing that was going on with this defendant. If I could uh, say two things. First of all, Mr. Osorno, as well as the documentation indicates that that was a breath test. And I do, don't believe that the abnormal creatinine would have an impact on that. And second, I understand Mr. that, Osono but he's got positive states, tests before that, Ms. Gaines. That's, that's, that's correct. what I'm saying. It's a Those, misstatement to say that there's just no, one positive test. That's Your Honor, not I correct. Your Honor, I indicated that he said that he would be positive for marijuana at the beginning, and he was. I apologize that that did not come out clearly. He is not. That is, he told community corrections that, and that is exactly what happened. He was just counseled for the creatinine on Monday. Anything else from the people? No, Your Honor. Uh, Bennett will be. Uh, 
I'll grant him a PR, but he has to be on a GPS and sober link prior to release. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. All other bond conditions continue. Okay, thank you, Your Honor. Who else do we have? We have everybody. We have two more in custody. We have two more in custody. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Field Properties versus David Henderson. <clears throat> Danny Horn, P1774 for plaintiff. David Henderson, no response. Yes. You may proceed. Oh, hold on. At, Maybe we have. That is What's needed. your name, sir? Needed. David Henderson. Okay. All right. Counsel, what's your claim in this case? Uh, this is non-payment at this time your honor rent to retain is two thousand seven hundred ninety one dollars cost of 162 for a total of two thousand nine hundred fifty three dollars i'm i'm planning to move out i was just going to ask for some extra time to move out So uh, when are you going to move out? Because if you move out after the 31st, another month's going to click in. Oh, for real? Okay. Um, I, I don't get uh, any money until the 1st. I need to get my car fixed. So I was hoping that I could get it extended. But uh, if that's the case, I'll be out by the 31st. All right. This is a non-payment of rent case, so I'm going to find no tribal issue after hearing. I'm going to grant a judgment for possession to the plaintiff. Um, total amount is twenty nine fifty three, with a writ to issue in ten days. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Court calls the case. Bo Properties versus Wayne Sparks. <clears throat> Danny Horn for the plaintiff. Mr. Sparks? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Um, I'm looking at the notes from the first hearing. There was a claim of $1,197. You're claiming, Mr. Sparks, that you paid $590 additional when you moved in? Yes, I did. I had and the, you were supposed uh, and you were hold on and you were supposed to get it back. What do you yeah. mean? Uh, that's what uh, this lady, the, the the lady at uh, uh, Red Shield. I guess she pulled a scam on me because after I paid the uh, uh, the first, I, I gave her one thousand sixty five dollars, which was the cost for the first month, last month's uh, uh, security. And she told me that after I signed all these papers, I was in a bind because I didn't have nowhere to live. And I had $590. And she told me I had to give her that whole $590 uh, to move in extra. And uh, I had a friend that that helped me move in there. And, and he was... Uh, uh, he wrote a statement for me that's no drives here, and he was present uh, while this whole uh, uh, sham was going on. And uh, he wrote uh, he wrote a letter. This is okay. Uh, hold hold on, hold on, Mr. Sparks. Just hold on a second. Um, counsel, you know anything about this? This might have been before Beale took over. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm looking at the ledger, and what the ledger says, <clears throat> excuse me, is that there was an a credit that was paid of $950 on March 31st of 2023 from Catholic Social Services. That same day, there was a cash payment of $590. Uh, okay, so it was applied. I gave Hold I on. gave them $115 cash with the $950 to take it to one. If you look at the the, the ledger, <clears throat> it'll show that. Uh, I paid one thousand sixty-five dollars. I, I I gave him the check for nine fifty, and I gave him an additional one hundred and fifteen dollars cash to take it to one thousand sixty-five. And after I did all this, 
she demanded that I pay an extra five hundred and ninety dollars uh to move in that's but Mr. Sparks, if you heard what council said, the five hundred and ninety dollars is on the ledger. So she applied it. Well, okay. I, I I never, you know, and this is my second issue, right? Like the day that the day that Red Shield signed me, Bill was not my. Uh, I, I'm on a thirty day. I list. know. I I hear you, Mr. Sparks. What I'm indicating is the five hundred and ninety that you claimed is on the ledger. So she applied, she put it on the ledger. So you've been given a credit for the 590. Okay, and- uh, Okay, so okay. now, now hold it. The issue is, is that there's $1,197 that's owed. And so the issue is gonna be, how are you gonna get that paid? The issue is that I never signed a, uh, uh, I never signed a lease with Beal Properties. Uh, that's the issue because they were supposed to take over and they uh they okay, never did. So they never Mr. they never came to me and had me sign a lease with them. Uh, you know, my lease is on a 30-day no. lease. And they never had me sign a lease with them. Sparks? Yes. I don't know that you want to go down that path. Unless you've got some other place to go. Because if you're saying you're not supposed to be a tenant there, then they're going to end up evicting you. Well, I mean, I was supposed to see a lawyer about it. You know, I haven't talked to any. They won't even talk to me. Bill won't even talk to me. You know, so I've tried to, you know, i tried reaching out to everybody I could. You know, I I have uh, the name. This is the next person that uh, I reached out to. Her name is. Are you uh, supposed to talk to a lawyer? Yes. Okay, you need to talk to him before next week. Then I'll give you a week to talk to a lawyer. Where, where am I going to get one? You know, who do I? What you know? I mean, is that all right? Here's what you're gonna. I'm gonna give you instructions in just a moment. So I'm gonna adjourn this to the 28th, July 28th, 2023. What time? 11 At 11 a.m. And Mr. Sparks, yes. legal services has walk-in hours at their address at 15 South Washington in Ypsilanti on Tuesdays from 10 to 11.30. Okay. And on Thursdays from 2 to 3.30. So you just need to walk in there, explain what your issue is, and see if they'll represent you or can give you some advice. Okay, but I have also reached out to the first step referral services and I talked to Crystal Rice and she said that she would, you know, make uh help me get the money to pay up the back rent, you know. Uh so I you know and I I have Okay, you know, Mr. Sparks, I do both of those. So if you want to talk to an attorney, I've given you the walk in hours. And then if somebody's gonna help you with the rent, you need to come back and let us know that that's going to happen. I'll give you a week to get all that in place. Okay. All right. So we'll see you next week at 11. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, the case, uh, Bill. Excuse me, Your Honor. Uh, when I was in court last week, the judge there told uh, Bill to uh, reach out, you know, to me and discuss this, man, you know, see if we could work something out, you know, and they, I've attempted, I've even went to the office, I've called the lady that says that Okay, Mr. Sparks, outstanding. if you want, Mr. Sparks, if you want to work something out, you can talk to a lawyer and then try to work something out. You can call and try to work something out. They don't have to agree, but the, the phone number for the lawyers is on the paperwork you received. So you can give them a call. Okay. All right. All right. You know, I have difficulty with, you know, communicating, you know, uh, you know, I'm 70 years old, you know, and uh, I'm in first stages of Alzheimer's and I have, you know, a uh, uh, difficult time, you know, connecting with people and, you know, it's like. Okay. So what I would do is I would try to get to legal services, explain all that to them and see if somebody can help you make the call to be on properties or the attorney. Okay. 
Okay. Because I have, enough, right. you know, I have enough money to pay my rent. I just don't have the money to, you know, I thought that, you know, I don't know, you know, I, I, you know, I just got confused about, you know, you know, it's just it, like you said, it's a mess, you know, and I didn't want, you know, I've been trying to reach out to somebody, you know, to help me, you know, and I just haven't connected with anybody yet, you know, I mean, all these agencies, they say we do this and we do that. And the next thing I know, I'm, you know, put on hold and uh, uh, appointments being made that's never kept. And, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just really difficult for me to, you know, get, uh, get some kind, you know. Start with legal services and see if they can help you. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Court is going to be calling the uh, Jameson Boone matters next. Uh, State of Michigan versus Jameson Boone, case number 22, S00234 and 22W00. 1476 as well as 23 S00234. Rachel McDuffie for people. Uh, Paul Barnett on behalf of the township. Jeremy Gloss, student attorney on behalf of Mr. Boone, requesting permission to practice pursuant to Michigan Court Rule 8.120 under the supervision of Assistant Public Defender Davi LeBeau. Permission is granted. Good morning, Mr. Boone. Please unmute and state your name. Hello, it's Jameson Boone. Thank you, Mr. Boone. Could you please remove your hat? You said remove it? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, we're here. Mr. Boone, I think I haven't yes. seen your face in a while. Because I always remember it because you seem to you have the same case number one year apart. Oh wow. Uh, Your Honor, we're here for a pretrial in these matters. Um Mr. Boone has made efforts. He got his 14A2 case resolved. I think that was the case that was holding him. He has another hold out of 35th District Court. Um, he has a court date scheduled for the for the 35th district court this week, and he plans on asking if he can pay clearance fees to get his license reinstated. We're asking for one final brief adjournment for him to get this license valid, and that's what we're asking for. Which district court did you say? 35th, Canton. Or is that Canton? Yeah. He has one out of 36 in Detroit. Oh, no, that's third. I'm sorry. Mr. Claus, what's the 1418 case that you said was resolved? I, I believe it was a, I can't recall what the case was. I, I believe there's a ticket holding him there and he got that resolved. Because the one I see is set for a final settlement conference. That's why I was trying to see if we were talking about the same thing. Yeah, they both want me to get my license. Both of y'all is just, like they just both want me to get my license. So they they want my next court date for them. They I gotta show that I got my license for them too. Okay. I don't believe that the 14A is actually holding him then. There are there are 14A2. Um he's got two out of 14A2 that's holding him. Um the one is for failure to comply with the judgment, ticket number 21397844 for no proof of insurance. Apparently he didn't pay. And so as a result, they suspended his license. And he's got a very old one from 2018 for failure to display a valid license that still has. Nope, nope, I'm wrong. That one's clear. So, yeah, it's just that one. 1482 failure to comply with the judgment. I will speak out of you say 34th district? 35th. 35th. Okay. Clement. I was reinstated. 
35th um, for no proof of insurance and a failure to display a valid license. Both of those were reinstated. I don't see one that's holding him out of 35th. I see one that's holding him out of 14A2, like I said, for the no proof of insurance. Okay, then, Your Honor, we'd still be asking for adjournment. I think Mr. Boone uh, will be able to pay those reinstatement fee or the clearance fees for 14A2 by this week, right, Mr. Boone? Yeah, I can pay anything that's in Washington County. It's just that 35th district is so far out the way, it's hard for me to get out there. And I already made it out there once, and they only let me pay one of my tickets. They wouldn't let me pay them. So that's why I can't show y'all the valid license right now, because they had to reschedule. They had to take the warrant off and set, up, set me up a court date. And that's why they set it up for this week. And that was like last month, and they just now finished it for this, this month. Well, I think when they took it off, maybe they um, unsuspended you from there as well. But I don't know. It does. It says it was reinstated. What appears to me under the Clean Slate Act, because it uh, it was reinstated out of thirty fifth because you had two tickets there, and they yeah. both were reinstated on. Oh no, you're right. It was reinstated on May twenty six. One was yes. reinstated on May twenty six of two thousand and twenty three. And the other one was reinstated on February 1st of 2021. So you're so they are actually holding it. It is only 14A2, just so you know where to go and what to take care of. Okay. Okay. Yes. 14A2. All right. So um, Ms. McDuffie, you were trying to say something. I'm sorry. Oh no, I just um so his 14A2 failure to display a valid license that's set for final settlement is not holding him either. I just wanted to right. confirm. No, that. that's not holding him. Okay. So um, you want how long of an adjournment, Mr. Floss? Uh, 30 days, if you can. You can get this taken care of in 30 days, Mr. Bill? I I plan on it. That's my plan, yes. I just so much. <laughs> My kids out of school is just so much. I got to pay bills here and it's them. It's just a lot. Then I got to drive all these places without my license. So it's kind of no, hard. No, don't say that. It, it's hard, but I, I'm going to take care. You're not going to drive. You're going to have some somebody time. drive you, right? Yeah, I'm going to have somebody drive me. I'm going to try to have somebody drive me. Yes. I will try. Oh, that yeah, sounds I'm so try, convincing. I'm so convinced that that's what you're going to do. Um. All right, I'm going to, please don't get another ticket because if you do, then then nobody will work with you. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna give you until September the 12th to get it all done. Okay. That should be enough time, even with everything you just listed as going on in your world. September 12th, 2023, your bond is continued. This is gonna be your last adjournment. So please get it done, okay? Okay. All right. All right, thanks. Bye. I'll see you at nine o'clock, sir, on that date or some as close to there, there too as we can, uh, given the docket. Okay. All right, have a good day. Yep, you too. Bye-bye. Oh, damn. We can still hear you, Mr. Bone. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Everybody on YouTube Live, good morning, everybody. We're starting a couple of minutes early. Um, good morning, everybody. This is the Phoenix Project. I see such beautiful faces here. Um, we had a great staffing yesterday. Uh, oh, my goodness. Shut. I had a great staffing yesterday. Um, Except we've got a little issue, Miss Sabrina. Miss mm -hmm. Sabrina.
Where are we? I'm here. Ah, no. Good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? <laughs> I'm good. I just got home. Well, I got home like 30 minutes ago. I went to go do a UA. You went to go do what? A UA. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was the first one there. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Um, what is going on, Miss Sabrina? We're having little issues. What's going on? Tell me. So, for one, it's summer, and I don't know, like, what it is about. Well, I mean, I know what it is. The kids are out, so we stay up watching movies, and then in the morning they don't have to leave right away it's not like we're getting ready for school and all of that and i oversleep i don't have an excuse except that i oversleep and then i went almost two weeks without an air conditioner and i couldn't sleep so then i would sleep past my my morning blow and then not wake up till like nine so Okay. I'm trying to make excuses, you know. Um, I just, without the air conditioner, it really put me, like, it put me off for the whole month, really, because I couldn't work because I didn't have, you know, the right temperature in the salon. And once I finally got it, the guy came on 4th of July and was able to hook up my air and it's been a lot better, but it's so hard for me. I know. If it was the air conditioner, you know, July 2nd was the first time that you did a 12 hour no mm -hmm. blow, 12 hour gap. Then yeah. it happened the second. You said you fixed your air conditioner on the fourth. Mm -hmm. Then there's no more after the fourth. Yeah, because I mean, the kids are out from school. But well, like, the kids were off from school even way before them. I understand that. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not making excuses. I messed up and I don't want to sound like how I'm not trying to be a victim. I'm not trying to justify what I did. It's it was it was an honest mistake, Miss Ronhal. Like I've been doing so good with everything in my life. Honest like, mistake. There was, if that's the case, there were three mistakes. I know that. Mistake My is a one-time deal. A one-time deal. This wasn't a mistake. This is a pattern in a in a. This is a pattern in a behavior. A pattern to behavior for a certain period of time. I and mean, twelve hours you can drink. But I'm not. That's the thing. Like, and there's. <laughs> You're not. Okay. I, I'm uh, not. I, mean, I don't even leave my house. I don't even have a life. Like, I stay home and I literally just sit here waiting till my freaking psycho ex boyfriend gets out of jail so that I can be cautious to make sure he doesn't come look for me. I don't even do anything. Like, I, I literally, I think about my probation 24 7. I'm not. I'm trying everything that I can. No, you're trying. I know you're trying. Um, I know you're trying. Nobody can say you're not trying. No, Miss Sabrina, I'm not saying you're not. You're not trying. I see it. We've seen it. We've seen a major, awesome, awesome difference. I see a progress, but people fall off. And people I'm fall off, and so if you would just tell us, be honest. Tell I us, is, you know, you like, I swear to you, and you could even talk to my mother-in-law. She sees what I go through when I wake up late. And I'm like, I wake up late and then it keeps going because my anxiety gets so bad that it's like my body shuts down. I'm like, oh, whatever, like just sleep. And I miss everything. And then I find my phone like with my son. I'm like, Max, you know not to take my phone, baby, like while I'm sleeping, you know? And I hate to have to say that it's my kid's fault. So of course I don't say that. 
you know, I, I don't miss my blows during the day. I, yeah. It's the, it was the 5 a.m. one, but it left a 12 hour gap, 11 hour gap. And I think another 12 hour gap. There were three times, see, when you were doing so well, you weren't missing, you weren't doing, then all of a sudden there you are, 12 hour gaps. Yes, that's because why we, that's why we get on high alert. No, and I understand that. Trust me, if I was in your guys' okay. place, I would be like, she's messing up. And that's where it, it messes with me because I hate for to look like that person, especially, you know, I can't go back to jail. I can't, I don't want to let my kids down. I let myself down. Like I have been through so much and I'm so proud of myself because I have not relapsed. I'm so proud of myself because in the past I would have looked at this like the end of the world. I would have been like, screw it. I'm in trouble anyways, but I'm not that person anymore yeah okay you know i understand i understand everything you're telling me but there's something <sighs> when i see you doing so well and then oh my god three times so bad and 12 hours and and 12 hours you could have a couple of drinks it causes high alert i have I to in staffing yesterday, we're talking about safe pee for you now. So, Sabrina, you got to tell us the truth. I swear to you, I okay. was okay. okay, okay. We're talking safe pee. Safe pee's on the table now, but... Um, I swear Miss okay. Sabrina, now's your time to tell us the truth. Yes, and I have told you guys the truth. I swear oh. to you. Okay. You've not been drinking. I promise you. I swear on my children, on everything. I have not been drinking. I have not. I wish so you guys. The time. Now's the time for you to be honest. And I am honest, I am, I am an open book to you guys. I am so honest right now. I promise you, I, I know better than to lie to you, Judge. I know better and I cannot leave my children. I have done nothing to risk anything because my children are the only thing I have. Okay. And Okay, this was your opportunity to be honest with us, okay? Because honesty goes a long way, you know that. And I had to be honest with you and tell you that safe pee was discussed. Safe pee was discussed for you as a sanction for three times. Well, we didn't understand, Miss Sabrina, you know that on July 2nd, you had a 12 hour gap and there was some concern and they had to talk to you about it and they were gonna talk to me about it. And then you do it two more times after I, that. And trust me, I know, and I beat myself up over it. I, I swear to you, like, okay. it's, eats away at me because I don't want you guys to think that because I know it's reliving last year all over again. And right. right. But it, it's not reliving last year again. Don't even go back there. People have relapses. People progress, 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 do great, great, great. And then they have a little relapse. There's nothing wrong with that other than be honest, confront it, suffer the consequences and move on and do better. And so yes. that's why I'm giving you every opportunity. I'm begging you to tell me the truth. I'm I begging really am. Me. Okay. 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 You're saying <laughs> telling me the truth. I can't prove otherwise. I All right. I you. I yeah, I can't. We can't prove otherwise. But what about a hair follicle test for you? I mean, if I can get help with somebody paying for it i'm more than happy i did it last time no i know so now you've got to pay for it you did it three mistakes okay i will yeah. i will pay i can you get them three mistakes yes, you, gotta, you gotta pay somehow miss sabrina yes, we can't, I will somebody do it. can't keep bailing you and bailing you and bailing you 
Yes, I will do it. And my dad will pay for it because he. Who will pay for it? My father will pay for it because okay. he supports this. Oh, good, good. I'm glad you have somebody that will support you and that believes in you. Oh, okay, Ms. Melin Flores is telling me you missed again this morning. I did, and I did my UH. UA. <laughs> And yesterday you went in the morning as well, Miss Sabrina. I know, and I it's I don't know what to say. Like my anxiety, I sat here and I cried to my caseworker. I cried to my therapist. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to explain. Tell to me the tell us the truth. That's I tell you the truth. Oh my God. All we want is the truth. If you. And Sabrina, we want to help you. So you missed yesterday, you missed today. It's five times already, and you know that that's the issue. I'm not drinking. I'm not doing anything to to put my probation, my children, my life, my house. Because if anything happens to me, I'm not going to have everything when I get back. Because I'm still trying to get back on my feet from being in jail. Sabrina, something is going on with you. I for you to have five missed gaps. 12 hours, Miss Melin? Um, no, Your Honor. Yesterday and today, she missed the 5 a.m. Yeah, um, but how, many, how much is the gap? Um... 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, Your Honor. Nine hours. Yes. She misses the five o'clock. She's got a, a nine, 10 hour gap. Can I? This is five times. Sabrina, you were perfect, perfect, perfect. For month yeah. after month after month after, <laughs> month after month after month. So what is going on? The fact that, you know, I have a life outside of probation and I have to pretend like everything's perfect or else you guys think that I'm drinking. You know, I feel like I can't even have a bad day. I had no air conditioner. I didn't know how I was going to pay my rent. My utilities are all way past due because it's constantly trying to catch up. And my anxiety, I have PTSD medication that I take and I take it and I don't wake up. But my children weren't here Thursday, Friday, Saturday because they had a comp um, tournament in Las Cruces. I was alone by myself for the first time and I don't know how long I take my PTSD medication. What happens? I don't wake up. You know, there's a million things that go on in my head, and I don't even know why I do things. I don't know. I don't think my doctor even knows, but I'm trying, and I'm begging you to understand where I'm coming from. That I can't. I can't. Oh, I don't even have the words for it. I swear to you, I'm not drinking. I will get the money. I will do the hair follicle. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it today. I don't care. I'll do it. <laughs> because I, I'm i so strong. But, but, this is, but this is, okay. And then this is the other issue. What are we going to do if... Let's say that you're telling us the truth. Let's say you're telling us the truth. And, and it comes out negative. The fact that you have created five, 10 to 12 hour gaps has to be sanctioned. Well, everybody else gets work release. So I suggest that I get work release too because I wasn't caught drinking. I don't drink and I will say that and I don't plan on drinking after I get off probation because I was a horrible person. You know, I want to help people that were just like me so they don't feel like nobody understands them. It is very hard to keep it all together for myself, for you guys, and most importantly for my kids because it's 
they can't see me upset. And my anxiety has this really messed up way of doing things like this to me because I get so overwhelmed that I sleep because I just want it to just go away. And then I end up oversleeping. I don't do it on purpose. Trust me, you think no, I want to been, You've been perfectly fine until July 2nd. You were perfectly fine for my, and you still had your PTSD. You still had your children. You still had yeah. your medication. You still had your, your business. You had all of those stresses still. All of a sudden, July 2nd, you unraveled. What happened? Oh. That, that's our perspective. You've had I, all the all the excuses you've just given me, you've had them for months and months and months when you've been successful. So yeah. what happened July I mean, I, 2nd? I, I don't have a reason. I don't have, I can't sit here and tell you because there's no reason I didn't. You know, if you want me to be perfectly honest, this is a perfect example. Something that nobody knows. You guys don't know about it. But I lost a baby in April. I was pregnant. And that still didn't push me to drink. Can I ask whose was it? It was the same father. <laughs> your ex? Your ex? It was your ex? Yes. Okay. Okay. And you didn't drink in April. No, I didn't. And you know, okay. I, it was very hard for me and I didn't talk to anybody about it mm -hmm. because, you know, I didn't want to live it. I didn't want to talk about it. It was... How many months were you? I was 11 weeks. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you. And I'm, I'm just, sorry. I only, I only bring it up because something like that was so detrimental to my life. And I still didn't drink Miss Run Hell. Like, I am very, 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 very sorry that it looks that way, but I promise you, I, I promise you, I'll do anything. <laughs> but once again, still, Miss Sabrina, that, let me try to say this nicely. Let me say this nicely. Your standard, your standard operating procedure, okay, your behavior and your pattern is to defend and deflect. Defend and deflect. So you're in a lot of trouble. Five times, 12, 10 to 12 hour gaps. And you choose to tell us about this thing, this bad thing that happened to you, this terrible thing that happened to you. Right now. Yeah, because I'm desperate for you guys to see. This isn't That's something. That's a defend mechanism. That's a defend and deflect. Yeah, yeah, I did bad, but look at what I went through. Yeah, 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 I did bad, but look at the good. Yeah, 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 yeah I did bad, but look at what I've gone through. Sabrina, that is another affirmation to me that you lead a double life. No, that is You not. didn't tell us. Then I should have. You're not honest with us. That's another affirmation with you. Exactly why I didn't want to say to begin with. So I have to tell you, you telling us that, you disclosing us that, disclosing that to us at this moment made matters worse for me. <laughs> because you're still using your same addictive defense mechanism, which is defending defense. Anytime you're in trouble, number one. And number two is to leading a double life and you're not honest with us. I am being so honest. So yeah, but you weren't in April. This yeah. is July. 
You weren't in April and you bring it up when you're in a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble. No. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I was just using it yes, as an example. You didn't use it as an example. You used it. You wanted us to feel sorry for you so we wouldn't sanction you or to prove I the fact that you didn't. You could sanction me. I'll do, you know that I'll do everything. I don't ever say no. Well, safety's on the table now. <laughs> safety's on the table. We discussed it seriously, I'm telling you. We're going to sit. We're going to discuss everything again, staff it again. And let's see where it goes, Miss Sabrina. Let's see where it goes. Sabrina, this is not good. This is not you're still leading a double life. Oh, Ms. Ron, I promise you, I don't even have my own life. I just, I'm trying to be perfect for you guys. We don't want perfect. We want honesty. <laughs> I don't want perfect. I don't want perfect. Yes, judge, I screwed up. Yeah, I dr I've been drinking. This has happened. This has happened. This has happened. I've been drinking. Okay, I Sabrina. What are we going to do to fix it and make it better? That's all I want. I don't want perfection. I want honesty. And I'm being and honest. For you to say that I want perfection is offensive. It's not After true. all this time that you know me, all it's I want is honesty. And I'm being honest. Okay. 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 I don't want to humiliate myself on YouTube. You think I like that? I don't. Miss Flores, anybody else has any questions, Miss Sabrina? Because we're going to stop this again. Because I think, you know, safe P, maybe. Um, no, you're not. I'm just a little bit confused because I never knew. Nobody knew, not even the caseworker when I spoke to her, um, that she was what? having issues with the medication, that she was oversleeping but yet she goes to bed late she doesn't blow a 10 so it's just a lot of confusion your honor mm -hmm. well my life is not <laughs> i i'm not saying anything anymore <laughs> i tried to explain to you guys but it's like i it's so frustrating because i I've tried so hard and I, I, it doesn't matter what I say. Like you guys are going to think I'm trying to play the victim and I'm not, I take full accountability for everything I do. I, I just don't want to leave my kids. I know Miss Sabrina, but what did you think five missed blows of 10 to 12 hour gaps each was going to lead to after you've sat in jail i've given you work release i've given you 30 days straight sanctions generally go up they don't go down my sanction went up it definitely did and i it's gonna go up again with five missed what are you thinking I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I blow seven times a day and it's all I freaking think about. So when I go to sleep, my mind just wants to get away from all of it. Six times a day. You're not, you're not the only one. Everybody in my court, they manage only. and they manage to do it. So don't, you're going well, to, victim. Like you're going to victim else. status. Please. You're doing victim mode. Everybody in my court does it, and they have no problems with it. Okay. <laughs> You're going to victim. I'm not going to let you go to victim. I don't want to hear victim from okay. you. You're not a victim. I'm not. Well, you went to victim. <laughs> I blow seven times a day. You know? That's victim. Right. Anybody have any questions of Miss Sabrina before we... Um... Anybody? I Anything? don't have a question, Your Honor, but I do want to make it clear for Miss Sabrina that the kids should be going to sleep early. They should be going back to school in about two weeks and they should stay in a consistent schedule because it's very important for the children to sleep there at least eight hours straight. 
Okay, um, I, I totally agree. And but I highly suggest you should be you. telling that to my ex husband, not to me, because they come home whenever they please, and I have no say in any I, of that. And that's what I'm telling you, Sabrina, to talk to your husband and your mother in law, because yes. I know they, they pick them up and everything. Okay. Um, but I said just for you to be in bed as well, at least your eight hours, ma'am, because we're allowing you to blow at 10 and then at 5 a.m. So those are your eight hours of sleep. And if your anxiety is that bad, ma'am, um, it's because you're not sleeping well. You're not having a consistent schedule. And I will let your caseworker know as well to check on your medication to see what is going on with the medication as well. My medication is good. It's just my PTSD medication. And I talked to her about it yesterday. Um, but I, I mean, there's... As well. yes, sounds good. So the children okay. should be in bed already asleep, no later than 9 p.m. Okay, ma'am. And I'll be doing a visit. And yes. Those, and your children should be in bed already. If they're home. I'll make sure they're home, ma'am. Thank you. Miss Sabrina, if you needed help with that, why don't you reach out and tell us? <laughs> because. Come on. You're the mom. <laughs> I just want peace in my life. You're the mother. I understand that. You're the mother. <laughs> they also took care of my kids while I was in jail. And I came out of there not knowing what the heck I was doing anymore. I came out feeling like they took control of the kids. And you know what? Sometimes I just don't want to deal with it because... There's so many other things that are going on that I'm like, okay, at least the kids are happy. At least they're okay. But you know what? They come home. I'm hungry. I want this. I want that. And it's 10 o'clock at night. You know, it's, it's, I'm trying my best still to be a single mom. And I think I thought I was doing fine. But, I have a very hard time asking for help or telling people anything. And it ends up kicking me in the butt later. And I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm working on everything, all of it. And I just want you guys to see that I, I'm trying. <laughs> I, it sucks because I feel like I can't even talk because I'm going to say something the wrong way. Or I'm going to make somebody upset. So I'm, I'm just not going to talk more. I, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Anything else you want to tell us? No. Okay. okay we're going to staff you again, Miss Sabrina. We'll let you know. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Mr. Bazan.